Hello viewers, this is your girl Lady Ba and this is Lady Stick. Our conversation today is going to be centered around seeking attention through negativity. Sometimes we see people on social media, they will make a full one hour video about somebody. It's all going to be negative stuff. You this, you that, you this. People that you were best friends with yesterday. People that you were family with yesterday. But today, because you guys are at loggerheads, you take it to social media. You talk about their generation to now. All the bad words in the books, you bring it out. All Anything you can imagine that is going to damage that individual, you talk about it in public. You bring out the dirty laundry in public. But yesterday you were that person's friend. Yesterday you were that person's brother or sister. Yesterday you were family with that person. And even if you were not family, probably you guys just met on Facebook. But you make up stuff to bring those people down just because either you have difference in ideologies, you have different in party affiliations, you have different in your thought. I mean, think about it. We all cannot agree on one thing. We all have our ways. I might not like the same political party that you like. I might not like the same food or country or whoever you associate with. I'm, we can't be the same. That's why we are unique in our own way. But if we have to fight every battle or every difference we have, by bringing each other down, tearing each other apart. How can we grow? How can we make this world a better place? Imagine that mother or father you're talking about. I mean, you're talking about somebody else today. But keep in mind, that person is going to grow tomorrow and maybe have kids, grandkids. And you have brought out all the secret you know about that person. Probably he, he or she trusted you when you guys were in good terms. And expect you to keep that trust, that secret for him or her. But because today you guys are at loggerhead, you bring it out. What does that tell about you? Will you even be trusted? And the only reason or the only thing I can think of or imagine right now is because we are so hungry for likes. We are so hungry for comments. We are so hungry for views. We are so hungry for, I mean, money. Because sometimes you get all these views. You get all these comments. Probably YouTube is paying you. You're monetizing your channel. You're being paid on Facebook. Because, because of money, we bring down people to nothing. But what you do not know is that person you're destroying today. Because every action we do or whatever we do today is a reflection of who we are at home. And sometimes we have to be very mindful of what we portray outside in public. Because your faith or your personality, personality is tested when things go south. I mean, not everybody can be thick skinned. I get it. But you can fight with somebody behind closed doors and bring it on social media. Honey, what message are you sending? I've seen people do videos. Bringing out all the kind of, I mean, all the insults in the book. But do you think, <laughs> do you think that's the right action? Have you sit back and look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself this question. Am I doing the right thing? What am I doing? What I'm doing right now, is it going to solve this issue? Is it going to make a difference? You need to date yourself. Have a relationship with yourself. Have a conversation with yourself. And when I say have a conversation with yourself, I'm talking about your future self. If you're 30 today, sit back and think, if you are at 60, will you be proud of yourself for what you did when you were 30? And if the answer is no, then you need to retract. You need to take a step back. 
and look at yourself again. Assess yourself. It's very important. Because perhaps today you're doing something, you're acting on emotions. But if you sit back and look at yourself in the mirror and have a conversation with yourself, probably you don't trust somebody else to talk to, but have a conversation with yourself on the mirror, in the mirror rather. And see if that answer is positive, then keep doing what you're doing. But if you will not be proud of your future self, honey, drop it. Drop it, drip it, do whatever. Just drop it. Because it doesn't tell well. It doesn't look right. And put yourself in that person's position, whoever that is. You're talking about or bringing down. If you put yourself in their shoes for just one second, would you be happy for somebody to talk about you in the way you were talking about her, him or her? Sometimes we make up stuff about somebody who we don't even know or because we just want to bring you down. We want to damage you. But you who is doing that, did you sit and think probably someday you might run for office? You never know. Oh, never say never in life because you only know about today but what's gonna come tomorrow you don't know honey tomorrow you might want to run for office or you might be elected for something and people are gonna look up to you you want to speak and people listen you want people to look at you and be proud of you you want people to look at you as a role model but if all you do is sit on social media and talk crap about other people or talk nasty things about other people, how do you expect people to be proud of you or look at you as a role model? Let me give you an example. And I'm using the first, um, previous first lady, Michelle Obama, as an example. Because she's a role model to me. I don't know about other people. Since Obama took office, or since the political arena begins with um, the, the, the Obama eras, have you heard anything negative i mean you might because they call her angry black woman or she doesn't dress well blah blah that's all you heard but you will not hear or see anything that would say oh michelle obama this did this or said this wrong or said this said something bad about somebody or dressed inappropriately they might just say she doesn't know how to dress but hey she was decent because she owned up to her actions and probably she was she was taking great care of what she said where she goes what she puts on social media but nowadays it looks like we just don't care and we should care even not for ourselves but as a man or woman because you're gonna have kids tomorrow imagine your son wants to run for office or your daughter wants to run for office People like me, journalists, we will go back to your history and dig what you were doing, what your family or parents were doing, the background, where you come from, what kind of people you are. So imagine if they go back to the archives, to the library, and see some of the things that you were doing on social media. And keep in mind, nowadays people are not stupid. You go for job interviews or you apply for something. This, most of these companies, they go back to see what you put on social media. They look you up whether you know it or not. And trust me, whatever you put out there in the public is definitely a reflection of you. There's no excuse about that. You can't say I was angry or is a mistake. If you're angry, honey, take a bottle of water and drink it. Drink to your satisfaction. Eat food if you want sleep if you like wake up and reflect on the matter think about it before you take any action because if you act on emotions or anger honey you sit back and be like oh my god did i just say that did i just do that you want to be remembered in a very positive way but not in a negative way you want to be a role model. You want to leave a legacy behind. And keep in mind, all these likes, all these fames, all these comments, all these views we are fighting for or looking for, honey, those views stay here today. And the people that are watching you today might not be in your future. And possibly, 
possibly it would be the same people that are watching you today and liking what you're doing and saying that are gonna turn around or come around and talk negative about you and judge you and call you names and probably they wouldn't even have respect for you pretend today that you want to run for office they will be the same people that are that way are commenting for you um liking your your post or whatever you're saying negative about somebody else those are the same people that are going to come back and say oh he's not oh she's not fit and guess what where do you stand you will be alone in your own wall do good and good will follow you and there's this proverb in my language that always says a word is like a bullet the moment you fire that bullet you can't have it back it's gone be mindful of what comes out of this mouth if it can't be positive honey don't bring it out keep it there die with it if you have to I remember my teacher one time told me lady if you don't have anything positive to say don't say anything and I believe that and keep in mind this post we put on Facebook this negative post we put on Facebook this negative videos we put out on Facebook talking about all the people the insults the the, the daily laundry honey it's gonna it's gonna follow us to our grave because you know what even if you delete it somebody else has already downloaded it or somebody else did already sh somebody else took it and shared it somewhere else especially with this whatsapp generation now how can you control all that how can you um, recover everything and delete it out of your life you can't be very mindful of what you do be mindful of your actions because it can come back and bite you and when that time comes honey you'll be lonely in your own world at that point you will know human beings are just humans they can laugh with you dine with you smile with you my dear the moment you gave your back they're already taking a knife stopping you to death do you really want to live your life like that and this makes me question or wonder is social media design or is here to bring us together or is it here to pull us apart to tear us apart we should use social media to our advantage promote your business bring up new ideas create stuff sell your ideas to the world Present yourself in a way and manner that even if somebody is out there in the village will see him or herself in you. Present yourself in a way, sell your ideas in a way. Bill Gates who is in Washington state in America would want to reach out to you. Never say never, you never know and never set your standard so low. Aim high and go high. That's the only way you can excel in life. And that's the only way you can make it in life. But if your life is all about sitting, enjoying your um, the luxury at home, the light, the, the connection, which is the internet, the Wi-Fi, you have your phone or your tablet or your mic, you're ready to go. And all you use that equipment for is to tear somebody down, to bring somebody else down. My dear, that's a waste of resources. Give me that money and you see what I'll do with it. I'll build an empire with that. Use your luxury, your Wi-Fi, your credit, whatever that is that you use to make that video to bring somebody else. Use it, use it to your advantage. Use it to promote yourself. Use it to, to, to develop yourself or promote your business or create something positive that people will learn from. 
Life is too short. Let's make the best out of it. Well, this is Lady's take. Until I come your way again, you take care. Be safe. The coronavirus is still out there. And I'll leave you with this. If you will not be proud of your future self, or you will not be proud of your current self, when you are at 60 or at 100 years, you never know, don't do it. Stay positive and life goes on. And one last thing, we grow by lifting other people. Because otherwise, we will be lonely in this world. We will be standing by ourselves. And we need company. To have company, you need people. Be nice to your fellow human being. Take care and bye for now.